migrants are not responsible for the housing crisis. Today, we are talking about undocumented people who have already lived here for many years, who are already housed. A regularization program will have no impact on the housing stock as it exists today. I want to underscore today that the issue of regularization is separate from the discussions on Canada's housing policy. And there is a misconception that immigration is to blame for Canada's housing crisis. But this narrative unfairly scapegoats migrants, international students and newcomers, overshadowing the real issues that are at play. And let us correct that narrative. Migrants are building the future, not draining housing resources. They hold a critical part of the solution to Canada's housing crisis. Migrants contribute significantly to our economy, to our communities, and the housing crisis itself is complex. It's driven by factors like speculation, insufficient affordable housing supply, a lack of sufficient funding, and other policy gaps. Immigration is simply not the cause. This government has recently taken some important steps in the federal budget to address Canada's housing crisis. Actions like an encampment response based in human rights, non-market housing supply, and tenant protections. The budget includes measures aimed at root causes of Canada's housing crisis like financialization and over-speculation of affordable housing. In fact, under Canada's recent Human Rights Review under the Right to Housing, the review panel, we heard testimony from tenants and housing experts about how much more affordable housing is lost in Canada to financialization than is built from new supply. For example, between 2011 and 2016, more than 300,000 affordable rental units in just British Columbia were lost due to financialization. The real issue is that Canada does not have enough affordable housing supply with adequate rental protections. And on top of this, there is a labour shortage in the trades to build new housing. Immigration plays a role in the solutions more than it is causing the problem. Migrants and undocumented individuals are already here, contributing to our society in countless ways. They are not responsible for the housing crisis, but they are deeply affected by it. Denying them permanent residency only exacerbates vulnerability and limits the potential to fully contribute to our nation's growth. From a socioeconomic perspective, regularization of migrants is a vital step towards improving their outcomes, including access to decent housing. Permanent residency is the first step to accessing all other rights and services, such as health care, education, and fair employment. Without it, migrants face impossible barriers that keep them marginalized and economically disadvantaged. Housing is a human right. Our government recognized this through legislation in 2019. It is fundamental to the dignity and well-being of every individual. By regularizing migrants with permanent residency status, Canada is strengthening our communities and our economy. This is not just a moral and ethical imperative, but a sound economic strategy.